In this video, we're going to discuss the Dictionary Viewer section on the Dictionaries page. In a previous video, we discussed the five processing options available on the Dictionaries page. The last two options, Exclusion and Categorization, are related to the Dictionary Viewer. In that video, I showed you how to enable an exclusion list and how to easily add and remove words. I also explained that a dictionary is organized as a tree, and I showed you how the different levels of the dictionary work. When you enable the categorization option and choose a dictionary, it appears in the dictionary viewer on the categorization dictionary tab. You can edit it if you choose. You can also build a dictionary from scratch in the dictionary viewer. Creating a categorization dictionary can be a complex process, and how you do it depends largely on your objectives, whether they are to describe what's in the text or test a hypothesis, etc. Please see the webinar on building categorization dictionaries on our website for a more in-depth discussion on the methodology behind building dictionaries. For now, we'll concentrate on how to use the various functions in the dictionary viewer. To review, WordStat comes with a number of categorization dictionaries. Others are available for purchase on the website. And of course, you can always create your own. My list is probably longer than yours, as I've already created a number of dictionaries. You can also import and export categorization dictionaries, but we'll go over that in another video. Let's build a dictionary from scratch. Select the New button beside the Categorization option, and name your dictionary. We'll call our dictionary Europe. It asks you if you want to keep the current keywords. So these are our words in this dictionary, and we can see that pertains to Central America, North America, and South America. So we're going to say no. That gives us a clean slate. To add words, phrases, or categories to your dictionary, click on the Add button. You can also add proximity rules, but that's something we'll discuss in another video. You can start by adding your categories and subcategories. To add your categories, make sure Main Category is selected and type them into the box. Then select Add. To add a subcategory, Select Subcategory, make sure your category, your main category, is selected, and add your subcategories. You can now go on to add the words and phrases in each category or subcategory. Each word or phrase can be assigned a weight. The default value is 1. This is so that specific words may count for more than one instance of the category. For example, in order to compute an aggressiveness score on specific texts, one may choose to assign a weight of 5 points to a word pattern, such as kill or murder, but only a single point to word patterns like insult. You can use a whole number or a decimal value. If you'd like to add a new category, select the radio button and type in the new category. You can add the words or phrases at the same time. You can 
toggle between these two dialog boxes by clicking the button at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to remove a word, simply select it and click Remove. You can edit a word, a phrase, or a category by selecting Edit. You can undo previous actions by selecting Undo. If you'd like to print the dictionary, select Print. Set your printing options and then press Print again. The Option button allows you to give your dictionary a description and to optionally show it upon opening. It also gives you locking options to prevent changes to the dictionary. The Suggest function is useful to build out your dictionary. It helps you find words to add to your dictionary that may be related to existing terms already in your dictionary. The Basic option uses selected spelling dictionaries and any available thesauri to identify related synonyms and inflected forms. The Advanced option gives you access to a more powerful dictionary building tool that uses a WordNet-based lexical database to find not only synonyms, but all related words such as hypernyms, hyponyms, holonyms, meronyms, coordinate terms, as well as the selected spell checking dictionaries to find inflected forms of the words. Please see the video entitled Suggest Features for more information. The Sort button allows you to sort your items and categories in alphabetical order. If you want to sort both your items and your content categories, select Yes. If you want to sort only your items, select No. We'll sort only our items. And we can see that our items have been sorted in alphabetical order. The Merge function allows you to append categories from another dictionary. Simply select the dictionary from which you'd like to import, and then choose the categories you'd like to import. You can import all by right-clicking your mouse and selecting Check All. Fifteen items and three categories have been added to our dictionary. And we can see the categories down here. You can attach a comment to a category or an item by selecting it and then clicking on the comment button. Type in your comment. And then you can choose the color of the comment. Let's go with purple. Close it. And the color indicates that there's a comment present. Enabling the drag and drop option allows you to easily tailor your dictionary by dragging and dropping items and categories in their desired position. Let's put Avignon in England. And let's put the territories in England as well. When you enable the Check Items option, check boxes appear beside your items and categories. This allows you to apply only selected categories and items from the dictionary in your analysis. Non-checked items will be ignored. By default, categories are mutually exclusive, meaning that a word can only be entered in a single category. Enabling the Allow Overlap option allows items to be classified simultaneously in two or more categories. 
It's important to note that the multivariate techniques available in WordStat, such as clustering correspondence analysis and multidimensional scaling, as well as other multivariate statistical procedures, make the assumption that categories are statistically independent. Using overlapping categories creates data that clearly violates this assumption and may yield dubious results. The View Definition checkbox allows you to see the WordNet, a lexical database, definition of the selected item. Select an item, and then select View Definition, and your definition appears. Some items in an exclusion list or categorization dictionary may remain undetected in documents because of their incompatibility with some analysis options. This occurs, for example, when an item is in both the categorization dictionary and the exclusion list, or when this item includes non-alphabetic characters that have not been specified as valid. If you select the Show Warning checkbox, a warning will appear indicating the issue. And that brings us to the end of our tour around the Dictionary Viewer. Be sure to check out the Dictionary Building webinar available on our website.